Hello, my friends, and welcome back. <sighs> Today, we're going to be taking a look at how the fat acceptance community responded when Rebel Wilson lost weight. I know that this is old news, but I think it's funny, so let's take a look at it. Some of these are general clips about when celebrities lose weight. Let's talk about celebrity weight loss. Some of you may have seen the Rebel Wilson swimsuit photo showing off her weight loss and what she has said about it, which is essentially, I'm so much better now. Okay, <laughs> you seem a little, you seem a little mad about that. The look on your face right now does not look pleased. Bruh. You're like, mm-hmm. The look on her face right now, man, mm, she ain't feeling it. She's like, so <laughs> Rebel Wilson said, I am so much better now. So, like a lot of fat people, I'm not gonna lie, I have big feelings on celebrity weight loss. I don't really have big feelings on Rebel Wilson's particular celebrity weight loss because I didn't like her before. But, in general, it's something that has really hit me hard in the past. It's not necessarily about the weight loss itself, although it is really hard to lose one of the few role models and representations we've had. One of the few role models and representations we've had? Bruh. Well, I mean, why are you looking to the TV for role models and representations? That's where you go to feel good about yourself? The TV? Dude, the TV is designed to make you feel bad about yourself so that you'll buy more products. That's the last place you go to feel good about yourself. They had people that looked like me on there. Oh, uh, and now, now she doesn't look like me. That's not a shortcoming of her or the TV. That's a shortcoming of you. You're looking for validation in these random strangers that are in TV and movies? That's real weird, man. But that wouldn't necessarily feel like betrayal if it weren't for the way that they talked about it. Two of the celebrity weight loss stories that really hit me hard as a kid were Jordan Sparks and Jennifer Hudson. And the reason that it hurt me so much when I was so young was because that was the only representation I saw of bodies anything like mine as a really young kid growing up in the 2000s. Once again, it was enough with this representation nonsense. People on the, the TV don't need to look like you for you to have worth, okay? I don't know why it's taking me, some random moron on the internet, to tell you this. I remember so clearly the day I read a People magazine in my dentist office with an interview with Jennifer Hudson about her weight loss. And in that interview, she said, I can wear heels now. Like, she was like, well, I could have worn them before, but now it's a whole different thing. Like, let alone that when you're fat, sometimes the only cool or like pretty feminine apparel available to you is shoes. And then I found out that I couldn't even legitimately wear shoes until I lost weight. It was also like she was demeaning her past self so explicitly. And in doing that, she was demeaning me. Ah, I see. So she's like, now I can finally enjoy wearing heels. I couldn't really enjoy that before because I weighed way too much. And you know, that sounds like a freaking disaster on the ankles and feet to be obese wearing heels. I don't need, even need to be obese to, uh, to see how that would probably be problematic. And you, in your infinite narcissism, have to make it about you somehow. Like, I relate to the former her that was fat that had a hard time wearing the heels. So now when she says that it's so much easier and so much better wearing heels, you feel insulted because she's insulting the former her, which is similar to the current you. And reminding me that I wasn't really living a life and my life wouldn't start until I lost weight. Okay, and you don't like to be reminded of that? So she was telling you the truth and uh, you don't like that. You've got an aversion to truth. So when a celebrity loses weight, it does have a sort of trickle-down effect. It reminds you of the fact that you did not do hard work. It reminds you of the fact that anybody can lose weight and you chose not to by not doing the work. You're like, hey, this person was very overweight and they represented me. I identified with them for a very long time and now they are no longer overweight, meaning that it is possible for me to also lose the weight. I, however, am unwilling to do that work. Therefore, we're going to blame this on something else. They're reminding me of all the hard work that I didn't do and it's making me feel really bad. I've got a bad case of the hurt feels now. 
and it doesn't necessarily need to because they don't have to talk about it the way that they talk about it. The they don't have to talk about it the way they talk about it. You mean they don't have to speak the truth when they're like, yeah, man, back when I was fat, that shit sucked. Now that I'm not fat, that shit does not suck. And then you're all like, hey, wait a minute. This is reminding me that fat people can lose weight. If you can do it, then I can do it. Therefore, I feel worthless because I didn't do the work and you did. And you're a shining example that it can be done. And you're reminding me that I didn't do the work again way that's like I am so much better now and then of course a lot of the time they end up selling a diet like Jennifer Hudson with Weight Watchers or Oprah and that's a harmful implication too because it's like you too can do it if you just do this program when a lot of the time they have resources that you don't have they have nutritionists dietitians personal trainers all this fancy stuff that you, you need all that you don't need all that stuff that's a weak excuse that you're making you don't have to be rich to lose weight, homie. Like the average person might not be able to afford. It's also possible. Right, no, you can afford 10, 20, $50 a month for a gym. That maybe some of them had weight loss surgery and didn't want to admit that publicly. And there is so much shame and stigma around weight loss surgery. It is totally seen as like the easy way out. Yeah, is it not? Weight loss surgery proves that it is the food that you are eating that is making you obese, right? They put something on your stomach to drastically reduce its size. In doing so, you will lose weight because you will feel full easier. This proves that it is the food that you are consuming that causes the obesity. Therefore, getting bariatric surgery is the easy way out because you could have just done that with some self-control. You could have just not eaten way too damn much or eaten the right foods and got the same results without having surgery. So yes, it is the easy way out. I'm not judging you if you had bariatric surgery, that's fine. You and I both know damn well that it was the easy way out. So I don't really blame them for keeping that to themselves, but I also think it's really harmful if they are. And I know a lot of them say like, oh, I'm just doing this for my health. I just needed to do this for me. Adele even said like, I wanna be able to play with my kids more. Even though a lot of fat people actually are healthy and play with their kids. Ah, so you don't buy the whole Adele wanting to be able to play with her kids more thing. When you're obese, you can really run after those little tykes, huh? And go up and down the slide and uh, all up around the playground with them, yeah. yeah. I don't know, man. I don't see too many obese people running around. In fact, in this era, pretty much all celebrities say that their weight loss was for health. It's almost like health is the only respectable reason to lose weight in this day and age. Huh, weird. Uh, if you're a psychotic moron, sure. If you're an adult, there are numerous reasons to lose weight, some of which might include just to look good. Because you felt like looking good, because you're an adult and you can make your own decisions. You're a big boy and or girl now. And or, did I say that? Either way, whatever man, this is 2022. Yeah, there are numerous reasons you may want to lose weight. Um, wanting to get healthier is just one of many. If you just want to look good, cool dude, good on you. We're in a material world, and I am a material girl. If I was smart, I would definitely cut that last part out. Okay, screw it. I'm going to put my two cents in. First of all, I don't think fat people are as pissed off about this as people think we are. We're just tired, man. We've seen this story time and time again. You're tired. That's probably all the carbs and sugar. Anytime we get fat represented... Sorry in international media, eventually they succumb to the peer pressure and they lose all the weight. Every single bloody time. And then they proceed with their media frenzy that if you just believe in yourself, you can do it. Does that anger you? You don't like it when people say if you just believe in yourself, you could do it? I know, man. I hate it when people try to get all inspirational and shit. Like, shut the fuck up, man. Let me just fail in peace, man. Damn. Quit trying to inspire a motherfucker. Pretty sure it was 14 grand she spent on a two-week stay so that professionals could analyze her diet. A two-week stay so professionals could analyze her diet. So in your mind, it takes 14 grand to lose weight. If you just have enough money, these professionals can just assist you and then, then you'll know. You know, it's not like we have this thing called the internet where uh, it's the largest collection of human knowledge that has ever existed that any of us can tap into at any time and learn anything about any subject. Unfortunately, we don't have anything like that, so... Oh, man, it's gonna take 14 grand. All of you that have lost weight without paying a professional 14 grand, uh, shut up, okay? You don't exist. 
all the money she sent on a personal trainer. You don't need a personal trainer either, man. Once again, internet. I'm not annoyed at Rebel. If this is something she wanted for herself, then good on her. But she even said the real reason for her transformation is because she felt like she needed to in order to be taken seriously. She okay. So she felt like she needed to lose weight in order to be taken seriously. And you have an aversion to this as well. You're like, well, they should have taken her seriously as a fat person. Well, they didn't. I'm sorry that the world is not all peaches and roses, but they didn't take her seriously as a fat person. It's not always nice, but that's just how it is. He gave up. The only serious fat representation we have in mainstream media is based around weight loss. Otherwise, we're the comic relief. Wouldn't you like representation of people losing weight so you can feel inspired to do the same or you're happy? I know you're not happy. She put on weight to further her career in comedy. And now that she wants to go down a different route, rather than fighting the good fight. She put on weight to further her career in comedy. Dude, I, I doubt that. If that's true, that's completely insane. It, she gave up. And it's disappointing, but fuck me, we've all been waiting for it. Time for one more bonus clip. Rebel Wilson is one of the main reasons I hate the world. Rebel Wilson is one of the main reasons you hate the world. Well, consider yourself very, very lucky. Bro, if that's your top complaint with the world, is whatever the hell Rebel Wilson is doing, man, you have a very, very good life, my friend. Like, literally, that's the top of your priorities list is some shit that's going on with Rebel Wilson. Your life must be pretty sweet, dude. Okay. Now, I okay. love... Wilson, she's been one of my favorite actresses. What the hell? What are you on about? <laughs> You're confusing me, bro. For a while. It's oh, for a while. Rebel Wilson, I hate. It's the way that the world treated Rebel Wilson for being plus size, being fat. The way that the world treated Rebel Wilson for being fat. Why are you getting so personally and emotionally invested in this? The look on your face is a little, uh, little intense, man. You're like really going through a range of emotions and shit here. This is pretty strange. Yeah, look, this face, dude, you have too much concern about what the hell's going on on the damn TV, my friend. Now she's a completely different fucking person. And it hurts, because... It hurts The Rebel Wilson is a different person? Bruh, you don't know this person. It's a Hollywood actor, dog. I can't even, you know, recognize her. Are you about to cry right now, dude? Ah, oh, oh, you're making me very uncomfortable. It's difficult that the world bullied her so much. All right, man, you look like you're about to cry or some shit, man. All right, dude. All right, man. I understand. I know you feel bad or whatever. Yeah. All right, man. <laughs> There's a lot of tears coming out of your face now, man. All right. I, okay, dude. All right, dude. I see that you... You really care about this shit. Alright, dude. Alright, man. But she felt the need to have to lose so much weight. And the fact that she got A-listed for so many movies just to be the comedic fat character. Oh, Why can't there be fat main characters? Why? Why? Li why are you about to cry? Okay, um, so yeah, that, um, that kid really, really cares about <laughs> Rebel Wilson and what the heck she's doing, man. He's like, why? Why can't the fat people be the main character, though? Like, I just, why, though? I'm, this is fucking stupid, dude. <laughs> they got me fucking tearing up, bro. I don't know why you're getting so emotionally invested here, bro. That's just how some of the fat acceptance community reacts when their favorite celebrities lose weight. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.